Good morning, dear friends. I am Vidya Sagar, your SS teacher. Welcome you all in the e-learning class of modern international schools. Today I am going to start subject geography of standard eight, and this is chapter five industries. Dear students, as we know that industries are such places which uh, converted the raw materials into the finished products. Okay. Industries are such places which converted the raw materials into the finished products. Now, let us discuss about it. So, have you ever seen that those paper we used to write and those uh, books which we used to read, it comes to us, it's not in a simple way. It also uh, included a complex वे एंड देन इट कम्स टू अस ये जो बुक हमारे पास पढ़ पढ़ते हैं जो कॉपी जिस पे हम लिखते हैं है ना ये इतनी साधारण प्रोसेस के से हमें हमारे पास नहीं आ जाते ठीक है ये बहुत सारे प्रोसेस से गुजरते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द बैम्बूज लाइक द बैम्बूज और द ट्रीज दे आर बीइंग कट वे काटे जाते हैं देन फर्दर द इट इज सेंड टू द इंडस्ट्रीज और इंडस्ट्रीज भेजे जाते हैं फर्दर इट इज कन्वर्टेड टू द पल्प और इससे जो है पल्प बनाया जाता है एंड फर्दर आफ्टर द प्रोसेसिंग इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द पीस ऑफ पेपर और इससे फिर जो है पीस ऑफ पेपर बनाया जाता है एंड फर्दर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द इंक ओके विच विच इज ऑल्सो सेपरेटेड दैट इज अनदर इंडस्ट्रीज ओके विच फर्दर सेंट इन टू अनदर इंडस्ट्री एंड फर्दर the uh, prints is make on that copy which is further finally sent to the market and we used to write down on it so there is a long process okay and all it is only possible whenever we sent the raw materials to the industries okay now the industries basically as in the previous chapter you have read about that it is it comes under the secondary activities and as i told you that secondary activities it means those activities which convert the uh, raw materials into the finished products and here what we can see that with the help of the raw materials the finished products are being prepared okay so these are the under the secondary activities now like the as you have seen the pulp change into the pay, uh, piece of paper like the cotton okay uh, cotton which is converted into the cloths after the processing into the industries now the uh, piece of paper or the cloths that we get it all uh, comes to us with a process okay and that process make that raw material into the valuable goods that makes the raw materials into the valuable goods usse kya karta hai us raw materials ko ek valuable goods mein parivartit kar deta hai ye jo hai hamare industries ka mukhya kaam hai okay now the industry the term industry industries refers to uh, such activity which convert the raw material into the finished products okay or you can say the extraction of minerals or the provision of service thus like the uh, iron industries production of uh, goods uh, and steel industries okay and coal industries extraction of coal so tourism industries these are the service provided industry so they basically they, these are the different industries and we here found that how it is being converted now first uh, we all know about the industries then we used to classify it and then classification of industries so as on the basis of the raw material okay and the size and the ownership all the industries are being categorized first of all we will uh, know about the raw materials okay as we know that each and every industries they must 
required the raw materials then raw materials are also categorized like first of all it is agro based industry yani ki krishi adharit okay so all those agricultural by products they are brought to the industries and further it is converted into the finished products like it take the example like the milk we used to brought the milk and further it is processed and it is sent to the market okay like the uh, rice rice uh, brought to the rice mill and further it is processed packed and finally it is sold to the market okay like uh, different uh, vegetable oil cotton textile dairy products leather industries these all are comes under the agro based industry next is mineral based all those industries which are based on the iron ore or the other minerals those are the mineral based industry like the iron okay like the steel like the aluminum they just uh, took the minerals as their raw materials okay and they further uh, produce the finished products okay <laughs> next is marine based industries marine marine it means oceanic so those industries which based on the oceanic products like the fishes and uh, uh, different uh, seafoods and further they are converted like the fish oil uh, are the, the example of these industries and further the seafoods they are also processed they are also sold into the um, prepared they also sold into the finished product okay as the finished product in the market seafood okay now next is the forest based industries all the industries okay which are based on the forest or the woods different type of woods like they produce the furnitures and different uh, items of the woods okay which are being directly taken by the consumer so here what we have seen that these industries they used to process it and further it is sold to the market and it is just ready to buy by ready to bought by the consumer okay now according to the size so at first we have discussed about the raw material next is size it refers to the amount of capital invested in an particular industry okay it means as much we have invested the uh, capital that much we, we will get okay like the first of all it was cottage industries then a small scale industries and then large scale industries first of all cottage industry like uh, those industries okay which basically are uh, uh, products are prepared in their home okay like uh, making basket making incense stick okay uh, making the different type of uh, uh, paintings potteries these are under the cottage industries in these industries basically family members are indulged to produce the products next is small scale industries in this type of industries small uh, capital is invested and less than 50% are uh, indulged in these small scale industries okay and less in investment is also required here but in large scale industries here the large capital is invested and uh, 100 to 200 people works in a particular factory and heavy amount of goods are produced from here okay so these are under the large scale industries okay now the production of automobiles heavy machineries are also of large scale industry now last is about the ownership industries can be classified into private sector state owned and public sector and joint sector also okay now private sector industry those industries which are being opted and run by individual or group of person these are known as private owned industries yani ki use jo hai kya karte hain hum log 
खुद ही उस तरह के इंडस्ट्रीज को हम लोग खुद ही जो है और या फिर ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल्स के द्वारा उसे मैनेज करते हैं उस उसे चलाते हैं दैट इज प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्रीज ओके नेक्स्ट इज ज्वाइंट सेक्टर इंडस्ट्रीज है ना यानी कि ज्वाइंट सेक्टर यानी कि दैट इंडस्ट्रीज इन विच द गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड एंड द पब्लिक इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड दैट इज ज्वाइंट सेक्टर ओके सो इट इज ऑन्ड बाय द स्टेट इंडिविजुअल और द ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल लाइक द मारुति उद्योग है ना एंड डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज आर ऑल्सो देयर लाइक डिफरेंट ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्रीज ओके सो दीज आर अंडर द ज्वाइंट इंडस्ट्रीज नेक्स्ट इज कॉपरेटिव सेक्टर्स कॉपरेटिव का मतलब ही होता है सहयोग दीज टाइप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज रन विद द हेल्प ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल्स देयर दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज कॉपरेटिव सेक्टर ओके सो इंडस्ट्रीज दैट आर ऑन एंड ऑपरेटेड बाई प्रोड्यूसर और सप्लायर ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल्स वर्कर्स बोथ ये सभी के द्वारा जो है मिलाकर बनाया जाता है इस तरह की कॉपरेटिव का सबसे बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल हो जाता है आपका डेयरी प्रोडक्शन है ना डेयरी प्रोडक्शन इंडस्ट्री जो है देयर द लाइक द आनंद मिल्क यूनियन लिमिटेड एंड सुधा डेयरी आर ए सक्सेज स्टोरीज ऑफ कॉपरेटिव वेंचर इसमें क्या होता है कि हमारे पास कॉपरेटिव वेंचर में जो है वो सभी लोग अलग अलग तरह के लोग जो है वो मिलजुल कर इस काम को बढ़ाते हैं और मिलजुल कर अपना शेयर जो है वो लेते हैं ओके डेयर स्टूडेंट्स रीड द पैराग्राफ एंड कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू